Hey guys, welcome back to another Roblox tutorial video. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make this icon right here for your game in Roblox. It looks super clean and it's actually super easy to do. It takes no time at all to do this. And I'll be going with Black Ops 6 because that is what's popular right now. I'm not saying this is a game in Roblox, but you get the idea. So without further ado, let's get started. Also stick around for a bonus tip at the very end of the video. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is obviously go to your photo editor of choice. I'm gonna be going with photo P for this tutorial and you wanna click on the new project button right here. For the size, they say that they prefer a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm gonna go with a thousand to a thousand because they are equal numbers. That's what makes it one-to-one -one. and I'm gonna click create. Now we have a blank canvas here with the right size for the Roblox icon. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a background for this icon. So I don't play Roblox personally, so I had to get mine from online, but you guys can go into your game or whatever, find a good picture, take a screenshot, and then use that for your background. So me personally, I just looked up Roblox gameplay, right? I found this one right here. It looks like Call of Duty or something like that. I think it's Arsenal, um, but I'm just gonna use this image right here. I highly recommend you use your own and I'm going to paste it into my project here and with control alt and T I'm going to resize this thing to fit in right here just like that now the first thing we're going to do is we are going to get some text and type in our words so I'm going to go to my text tool over here on the left and I'm going to click anywhere on my canvas and type in B O six, which is black ops six. Now I'm going to hit control a to select all the text and I'm going to go up here and change the size. Now it only goes to 150. You might be like, how do I fix that? Either type it in manually or click that check mark and click control alt T with that layer selected and you can resize it manually. Now you'll see there's red lines here. It makes it super easy to center it on your screen here. Just like that. Now click that check mark. So now we're gonna change the color of our text. So highlight the first two letters or however many letters that you want to be a certain color. I'm gonna go with white for these two. And for the six, I'm gonna go with orange. I just think it looks really good like that. And boom, we're already like almost there. So just stick with me and we're gonna get this thing done really quick. So now what you want to do is you want to double click on your background layer because we're going to change the color of it to a orange gradient. So go here to gradient overlay and check that box. You'll see now it's black to white. We're going to want to change that to orange to a reddish orange. So click in this gradient box here. Double click on this first square right here. This first square is this bottom part here. So we're going to go with orange. It should automatically choose the same color as that. And go to the white double click it and I'm going to change it to a reddish orange or I could go with a more yellow orange which I think I'll do that instead click OK click OK and change the blend mode up here to whatever you want you could either go with multiply overlay I'm going to go with color just so it changes the color of the background and then I'm going to click OK now the text is kind of hard to read on this background. So what I did is double click on your text here, go to drop shadow down here and check that box. Now we're gonna wanna change the angle so that the drop shadow is below the text instead of to the side. So go here to angle and change the degrees to 90. That'll be right below it. And you can adjust the opacity a little bit and the distance like that. So it's kind of hugging the text and it's darker than it was initially, so it's easier to read. That's just how I like it, but it's up to you guys. You can do it however you want. There's no right or wrong way to do this. This is just me showing you some things that might help you in your future projects. You could even go to stroke and change the size to this and do something like this, or you know maybe a satin, or you could do a gradient overlay on this too. It's really up to you. There's so many ways to do this. But I'm going the simple route because some of you guys don't want to spend forever on this. So click OK and now we are done with the text. Now it looks kind of bland so how are we going to spice it up? Well we're going to go down here to the bottom right to this new layer icon. Go ahead and click on that and now go to your brush tool on the left side. Click it and if you hold alt and right click and drag your mouse you can adjust the size with left and right, the hardness with up and down. 
we're going to want it to be super soft and pretty big about this big now you'll see there's two boxes here the top box is the one that's currently active on your brush so we're gonna choose a color i'm gonna choose white i'm gonna go up here above the image and click once until it looks good i think pretty big like that that looks pretty decent now go ahead and create another layer here this time we're going to choose white as well and then we're going to shrink it and I'm going to click at the bottom left of the text and the top right of the text. Now I'm going to change the blend mode up here to something else. So we'll do overlay. I think that looks pretty cool or you could do any other ones, but I think overlay looks the best. So we're going to go with overlay. You can adjust the opacity so it's not so strong if you need to. You can see what happens when you like click around it. That looks pretty cool. I'll just go with that. That looks awesome. And now I'm going to do one more thing to the text to give it a glitch look, which is actually so easy. I bet you guys didn't know this. Go to your text tool over here. Click Control J to duplicate that layer. Now double click on that top layer that you just created. Go here to channels and click that red one right I click OK now if you go to your move tool over here and move the text just slightly to the right make sure it's selected by the way it might try selecting the light it gives it that glitch look which looks so awesome okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna blur the background because now the background is a little too much so go to your background layer go up here to filter go to blur and the blur is up to you I'm gonna go with Gaussian blur and I'm going to turn it down to about two ish. Looks pretty decent. Click OK. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a vignette around this entire picture so that all comes together and the text is the center of focus. So go to your background layer, select it and click this new layer button again. Go to your brush tool, choose a size like about this big, right? You're gonna to wanna to do that, but with black. So we'll change the color to black and go around your image like that. I'm gonna leave this light up here untouched. Now you can change your blend mode to whatever you want. I'm just gonna keep it normal and change the opacity like this. With, without personal preference, I think this makes the text look better, but that's completely up to you. Now, there's another fun thing you guys can do if you want to change the color of this. Go to your top layer, go down here to new adjustment layer, hue and saturation, and you can adjust the color of this image here, right? And you can just make it look awesome. Choose any of the colors you want. I chose orange because that's the color of Black Ops, but it's an easy way to change the color of everything. All right, if you stuck around till the end, I'm going to be showing you guys a bonus tip. This one is to go down here to the bottom right to a new adjustment layer and go to curves. Here you're going to make an S, go up on here and down on here, and it'll make it look way better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It'll help me out a lot. I'm trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you later. Peace.